Madeline. Today we're going to read Madeline and the Bad Hat. Madeline and the Bad Hat. In an old house in Paris that was covered with ferns, there were twelve little ferns in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. One day, the Spanish ambassador moved in the house next door. Look, my darlings, what blessed, what joy. He, his Excellency has a boy. Madeline said, it is evident that this little boy is a bad hat. In spring when birds sing, something suddenly went zing. Causing pain and shocked surprise during morning exercise. On hot summer nights, he ghosted. In the autumn, when he boasted, he flew the highest kite. Year in, year out, he was polite. He was sure and quick on ice. And, now, and Miss Clavel said, isn't he nice? One day he climbed upon the wall and cried, Come, and I invite you all to come over my come over sometime and I'll let you see my toys and my Menagerie. Menagerie. My frogs and birds and bugs and bats. Squirrels, hedgehogs and two cats. The hunting in this neighborhood is exceptionally exceptionally good. But Madeline said, please don't mold us. Don't molest us. Molest us. Your menagerie, menagerie does not interest us. He changed his clothes. Changed his clothes closed and said, I bet this invitation they accept. Madeline answered, a tarot is not at all our idea of a hero. The poor lad left. He was lonesome, lonesome and blue. His, he shut himself and what else could he do? But in a short while, the little elf, elf was back again. Said Miss Clavel, it seems to me he needs an outlet for his emergency. Energy. Energy. In a, ch a chest of tools might be Attractive. Attractive for a little boy. That, that's very active. I know it. Listen to him play. Hammering, sawing, and working away. Oh, but that boy was really mean. He built himself a gold ton. He was very unmoved by the last look. The frightened chickens gave the cook. He ate them roasted, grilled, and frat 
Frito. Frito. Oh, what a horror was Pepito. One day, one out take the air. Madeline said, oh, look, who's there? Pepito carried a buckling, a bulging, bulging sack. sack. He was followed by an increasing pack. increasing pack of all the dogs in the neighborhood. That boy is simply misunderstood. Look at him bringing those doggies food. He said, let's have a game of tag and let the cat out of a bag. There were no trees, so instead the cat jumped on Pepito's head. And now I just listen and now just listen to that poor boy crying. Oh Secours. Oh Secours. Which you must cry if by any chance you'll er, ever need of help in France. Miss Cliddle ran fast and faster to the scene of the disaster. She came in time to save the bad hat. And Madeline took care of the cat. Goodbye, Fritos. Fridos. Fido. Fido. So long. Rover. Rover. Let's go home. The fun is over. There was sorrowing and pain in the embassy. In the embassy of Spain. In ben embassy. Embassy of Spain. Embassy of Spain. The ambassador wept tears of joy as she thanked Miss Clavel for saving her boy. Nothing, said the ambassador. We cheer up poor Pepito more than a visit from next door. Only one visitor at a time. Will you go first, Madeline? So Madeline went in on tippy toe and whispered, Can you hear me, tippy toe? It serves Serve you right. Serves you right. You horrid brat. You horrid brat for what you did to that poor cat. I'll never hurt another cat. Pepito said, I swear to that. I learned my lesson. Please believe I'm turning over a new leaf. That's fine, she said. I hope you do. We all will keep our eyes on you. And lo and behold, the farmer... Barbarian. Barbarian. Turned into a... Vegetarian. 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 And the starling and turtle, the bunny, and bat went back to their nativity. Native. Native habit. Habitat. love of animals was such. Even Miss Clavel said, isn't too much? The little girls all cried, boo-hoo! But Madeline just said, I know what to do. And Madeline told Pepito that he was no longer a bad hat. 
He said, you are our pride. pride and joy. You are the world's most wonderful boy. They went home and broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. Miss Clavel and as Miss Clavel 